We are taking more photos than ever before and way too many people are leaving them right here on their phones forever without taking the time to back them up. I understand why. Cloud backup programs are confusing and expensive. But let's see if I can clear up things today for you by looking at five cloud choices for you, the pros and cons of each, and then we'll look at other backup as well. This is one of the longer videos, so be sure to use the chapters to uh, go to your favorite section. Now, the important thing is that we need to get the photos off the phone. These are your digital memories. You lose the phone, you lose the memories. And I want you all to do online storage, but I also want you to have secondary backup as well. More on that in a minute. Know that this is not a sponsored video, but an honest take from somebody who has worked with all the services for multiple years. Ready? Let's dive into it. Let's begin with Apple iCloud. The cost is 99 cents for 50 gigabytes, which is worthless. $3 a month for 200 gigabytes, also worthless or $10 for two terabytes. Know that iPhones start with 128 gigabytes of storage. You add some apps to your photos and videos and you're out of room before you've even gotten started. So it's two terabytes or nothing. Now Apple Cell back up all your photos, videos, apps, contacts, and such on iCloud and be protected. Sounds good. The truth iCloud is not a backup service. It's a mirror of what's ever on your phone at any given time. So if you get the nag message, and you will, saying that you've run out of room, and then you delete the photo from your phone, it gets killed from iCloud as well. Oh. However, you need to understand how iCloud really, really works. Apple gives you the option of taking photos in high resolution, but saving them on the phone in ultra low res. And that's okay. This way, you're not gonna run out of your room, but if you want the high res version, you just download it from iCloud. Now, what do you do if you still get nagged by Apple and you have to make room and you don't wanna see everything disappear from iCloud? Have a secondary backup system, please. Save the images to an external hard drive, thumb drive, or another backup source. And again, more on that in a minute, Let's move on to Amazon. Many people subscribe to Amazon Prime for the expedited shipping. Amazon also offers Prime members free, unlimited storage of photos to the Amazon Photos app. Okay, great, right? What you don't get are free uploads of video as well. They cost extra, $7 a month for one TB of video. If you shoot much 4K video on your iPhone, like I do, one terabyte will not get you very far. You're looking at $14 to $21 monthly. At least that's my best guess. But everyone with Prime needs to take advantage of this free photo upload feature. I recommend having, having it on iCloud and on Prime. Then you have a secondary backup, as well as, of course, your, your the stuff that you have at home, like a hard drive or thumb drive. Now, how it works, Amazon offers automatic uploads from the app, shoot a bunch of photos on your phone, open the app, and they all go seamlessly to the cloud. But, but, what you need to be concerned about is that Amazon changes gears often. It had a really popular photo review website, DP Review, then announced one day it would shut it down. It offered commercial free entertainment on Amazon Prime Video, and now it charges extra if you don't want to see the ads. So you could put all your images up on Amazon only to see a change of policy. And then what are you gonna do? Again, have photos in several places to protect yourself. Google Photos works like iCloud, but with a huge difference. Your photos won't get deleted from Google Photos if you kill them from your phone. Unlike iCloud, Google does not offer full resolution images, but slightly lower unless you pay a higher storage fee. And those fees are really, really hard to understand. Every Google user gets 15 gigabytes of free storage, and that's spread across Google Photos, Gmail, and Google Drive. Realistically, we're gonna have to pay more for using Google, it's just the way it is. Remember that Google pricing includes photos and email, so if you get the lower price plan and you take a lot of video and photos, you could end up maxing out your email and getting a nag message from Google that you can't read or reply to your email until you pay more or go on a deleting little vacation. Google Photos has auto uploads from your phone within the app on Android and Apple phones. And again, that's something that's great on one hand. On the other hand, you're gonna fill up space really fast. So be careful with that. 
Microsoft OneDrive, it's a different sort of beast, $70 yearly, and you get access to Microsoft apps like Word, Excel, and PowerPoint, and one terabyte of cloud backup. The app for Android and Apple phones has a tool to suck all your photos directly and store them in the cloud. But again, be careful. If you take a lot of photos like I do, you're going to run out of room quickly. And Microsoft offers half as much storage as Google and Apple's most popular plans with no stated option on the website for upgrading for more. SmugMug, again, this is not a sponsored video. And although SmugMug has sponsored me in the past, it's not currently active. That said, SmugMug has the best all-around deal. Unlimited storage at full resolution in your photos, and you don't have to worry about being nagged to delete things to make room. While Amazon is quasi-free, SmugMug will let you upload videos as well without paying an additional fee, as long as the file is under 3 gigabytes and less than 20 minutes. So that's easy to do for most smartphone videos. You will run into trouble if you do a lengthy interview with, say, a relative, and then uh, that file could get hefty, and they'll just reject the file altogether. I have all my photos backed up on SmugMug, which I use as a virtual hard drive. It also runs my website. It's my first go-to when I'm searching for photos. So what to do? Well, iPhone users will probably find iCloud the most useful, even with all the issues. Android users, Google Photos is for you, but watch out for the ever-increasing Google backup bill. Windows users, Microsoft OneDrive has your name. And if you're a Prime member, I'd say Amazon Photos should be the first stop for everyone watching. If you've got a photography focus, which you probably do if you're watching this channel, Smug Mug looks the best, has the best terms, and you can potentially sell prints there as well. Now that said, iCloud, Google Photos, and OneDrive only work if you back up your photos and videos elsewhere as well, or you will be sorry. Apple will kill your photos, Google will charge you a pretty penny as your collection grows and grows, and you'll probably outgrow Microsoft OneDrive as well. One last place that everyone should really seriously consider is Backblaze. For $100 a year, it's not as pretty and easy to use as iCloud or Google Photos, but it will back up everything from your computer and multiple drives. It's a great deal. I do it. Love it. I mentioned that we'd also talk about hard drives as I want you all to have your media available locally as well. The old spinning disk drives are very affordable, but they're not as reliable as today's solid state drives. I have, where is it? It's right over here. They have no moving parts. And I recommend the Samsung T7 or T9 sells for around $200. It has two terabytes of storage. Please buy two of them and copy everything to both for safety. If you have an iPhone 15, you could connect the drive directly to the phone's USB-C connection. You check out my video about how to connect a drive to the iPhone for more information. Hint, you're going to need to format the drive to XFAT first. If you have an older iPhone, I have found that AirDrop to the Mac is the most efficient way to get images into the computer and copy to a drive. Now, finally, you ask, what do I do? Well, I don't do iCloud, and you know why. I do do Amazon Photos as a secondary backup. I do Google Photos to move photos from my Samsung Galaxy and to view old photos. I have a lot of old photos on Google Photos that went there before they started charging. SmugMug all the way, as I mentioned, it's a virtual hard drive. It runs my website and the photos look great there. Backblaze backs up everything that I've got and I have multiple hard drives on my desk, 14 of them in the PhotoWalks garage. These are the photo albums that we're leaving behind for the next generation, right? Let's start labeling them and tagging our photos and putting in captions. You can catch my video on how to do that easily as well right here on this channel. One last time, you don't know that Apple, Google, or Amazon will not change directions on you. So never, ever, ever think of having all your images only there. Protect yourself with home backup on at least one device. Two or three would be even better. Questions? Agree, disagree? Let me hear from you in the comments. If you haven't done it already, please subscribe to PhotoWatch TV right here on YouTube. Subscribe, like, share, all that good stuff. I'm Jefferson Graham. I'll see you on the next PhotoWalk.